Oh, sorry. Couldn't hear you come in with all this Pokemon news going on. Scarlet and Violet got new trailers last week, and honestly, it was super fun seeing all of the new content coming. Still a lot of questions that I would like to have answered, but at least we started seeing some of the pre-order bonuses for buying the game. For example, at Micromania in France, they're getting a small figure featuring the Paldean starters. Amazing. Love that. At another French retailer that I cannot pronounce, they're getting this really cool looking notebook. And apparently there's some site called Shop2. I've never heard of them, so use at your own discretion, but apparently they're giving physical pins of the logos for the different schools in the games. Probably my favorite bonus is here in parts of Europe, New Zealand, and Australia. They're getting the steel books that look amazing, especially if you take a look at the dual pack steel books. Like it's all gold versions of it. Like, oh, that looks so good. In more unique items, Toys R Us in Japan is giving out jigsaw puzzles for, depending on the version that you purchase. And I just think that's really cool because I mean, who, how many Pokemon puzzles do you have? But Pokemon Center Japan, the pre-order bonus there is you'll get yourself art books based on the version that you get. And they're even coming out with a custom Pikachu card for pre-ordering this game. So you're getting the art book, you're getting a Pikachu card, and it's also going to put you in the running for a lottery where they're going to give away 100 of these glass bookshelf ends. Like, they're hooking it up on the Japanese Pokemon Center. And I've seen a whole bunch of other bonuses going around. Like, there is quite a bit going on with the pre-orders for this game. And then, coming into the States, in the US, we've got this backpack. That's it. That's, that's what I got for so far. I'm hoping that after I film this, like, we're going to get some announcements, but... Right now, we're getting this DLC backpack. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'm a little underwhelmed. We are still waiting on a few major retailers to reveal if they're doing any pre-order bonuses. Fingers crossed, oh, I'm hoping. But we do have, this. Is, I mean, this isn't a pre-order bonus, but we do have the Flying Terra type Pikachu for getting into the game early. So again, not a pre-order bonus, but if you do purchase it before February, basically, you'll be able to download this through the mystery gift. In more exciting news, there is a new Pokemon distribution that is going to be starting up in the next week. And it's all virtual, so you don't even need to go anywhere, you don't got to spend money. So, starting on August 12th in Japan, they're going to be giving out codes based on Ash's team from the current run of the anime. And during these dates, you'll be able to download a specific Pokemon from his team. So possibly some mild spoilers if you haven't been keeping up with the anime. My apologies, so I'm just giving you time now to like kind of skip forward. So, here's the schedule. On August 12th, you're going to be able to get Dracovish. On August 26th, we're going to be able to get Dragonite. September 2nd is going to be Gengar. September 9th is going to be Surfetched. And on September 16th, we'll get Lucario. Only thing we know so far is that they're going to be level 80, but I imagine they will also have the movesets that Ash uses in the anime. As the codes are revealed, they should be universal. They should be able to be used in whatever region that you're in. So as long as I can confirm that, I'll be throwing them into these videos for you, as well as on Twitter, so you can get it right when they're available. Also in Japan, they're re-releasing like a lot of the old movies into theaters. And when people buy tickets, they're getting a special code to get a Pokemon in their Sword and Shield games. So I imagine some of these codes are gonna be hitting like eBay and stuff, but just keep an eye out. I don't think that those are like universal codes. I think those are unique codes because you purchased the movie ticket. But if anything changes, I'll let you guys know. The Pokemon Go TCG set just got its next wave of products hitting the market. So most notably, uh, these mini tins. These mini tins, at least at MSRP, are your best bang for the buck if you are looking for just packs. Prices obviously are going to vary by retailer, but again, at least at MSRP, you're just looking for hits. Those are probably going to be your best bet. The tins come with two packs and a Pikachu coin, so you might have a, quite a bit of leftovers if you are trying to get those packs. Pre-orders also opened up for the Dragonite V-Star Premier Deck Holder Box. I'm very interested to see this thing in person because the Pokeball thing, the, that whole thing just sounds really interesting to me. But also, for $50, I really hope that this is worth something. Just like, I hope it's a good quality Pokeball. But inside this box, you're going to get yourself the Premier Ball Deck Holder as well as 9 packs. So that's pretty good. A Dragonite V-Star card, a Dragonite V card, and a Code card. And this officially releases on September 30th. Also got news that on October 28th, we're going to be getting a Hisuian Zoroark promo box. Should be a V-Star premium collection. Those usually come with quite a few packs. We'll also have the Hisuian Zoroark alt art and Hisuian Zoroark V full art. No pics of it yet officially, but once I have those, definitely going to be showing it off to you guys. Hisuian Electrode will also be getting its own box. It's going to be coming out on November 4th. Should come with the V card and a jumbo version of that card. 
with the typical four packs and a code card. And then Lost Origin doesn't even come out yet, and we've already figured out what the next TCG set is after that. On November 11th, we're going to be getting Silver Tempest. It's kind of a sexy name, but November 11th, mark your calendars. Should be a pretty good day. Then, looking even more into the future, during the World Championships that are happening this month, August 18th to the 21st, we're going to be getting an exclusive first look at the Scarlet and Violet TCG set. I'm hoping that they include this on the live stream. That would be pretty sweet, but I get it. You know, if it's just an exclusive in-person thing. We'll be getting a look at the first cards from the set. My assumption would be that it's going to be focused on the starters, but maybe we'll get to see some new Pokemon. I don't know. Let me know your predictions down in the comments. And now we've been tracking this McDonald's promotion thing for the last couple weeks. So we've actually got some more details here. So looks like there are 15 cards in this set, but only six of them are going to be holographic. The other nine are always going to be non-holographic. The six hollows are going to be Rowlet, Gossifleur, Growlithe, Victony, Pikachu, and Smeargle. The toy, quote unquote, the toy, is going to be coming in the envelope format again, just like last year. The, here's a look at all of the envelopes that we have so far. The coin that also comes with these toys, I don't know why, but I thought it was going to be the plastic coins. I don't know why, but it's, it's a cardboard coin. Makes sense. It's like, I can't really be that surprised. And there is a little bit of assembly required to get things set up for the match game, but it doesn't look too bad. The collaboration has already started in the UK, but I'm hoping that if this does show up here in the States, it's a little bit easier this time to get the toys, the cards, because last year was a mess. So I'm hoping that with just the 15 cards, there's a lot less like random like chance, you know? I'm hoping that this goes a lot smoother. In collectible news, Mega Constructs has a new Snorlax set that is running for $24.99, should be coming soon. And so far, this is probably my favorite set because Snorlax uh, kind of looks like a Snorlax. Usually these sets kind of, they look a little funny. Shoe Collectors, we've got a new collaboration between Clarks and Pokemon. In the UK, there's quite a bit more styles. Like honestly, I'm very jealous of the UK versions, but the shoes look pretty sharp. Plus in the UK, you get a fun pack of cards, which is usually like three or four cards in the pack. I don't know what the cards look like yet, but that's super cool. In the US, we've got these Wallaby boots, which look super comfy, but we don't get a fun pack of cards. It's the only two styles we have available right now. So you win this round, UK. Last week, we talked about some Pokemon holiday ornaments available at Hot Topic, but I figured out what the 3D renders we saw, I figured out where they're at. They're at Walmart. So these are the Hallmark Christmas ornaments. Again, Walmart exclusive, so keep an eye out for those if you want to pick those up. With the World Championships just uh, like a little bit over a week away, we got a first look at the plushies that are going to be exclusive to the event. We've got a Pikachu, of course, not an event without a Pikachu, and it's got his cute little, uh, I'm going to say British outfit, I guess, since it's in London. I don't know if that's a British outfit or not, but we also have Roserade partnering up with them, and I'm way stoked for Worlds this year. There's so much going on. This is the finale for the Sword and Shield era. Like, there's just so much going on right now, like super stoked. And how are you feeling about this new trophy for Worlds? The Pikachu trophy of a Pikachu holding a trophy? We've got more Funko rumors as well. So a little bit ago we talked about Apom being a rumored Funko Pop, and now apparently it's a part of a whole like collection of them. So the Apom is going to be a part of this wave that includes Sobble and Umbreon. We'll see if it comes true, but honestly it makes sense especially where they've been focused on the evolutions recently. We're only missing a few, so Umbreon would start to fill that gap. Additional Fungo rumors also surfaced over the last week, showing off some potential Diamond series Funko Pops and some Flocked Funko Pops. There's even some 10-inch figures in there and like multi-packs of the evolutions, so that's super interesting. But seeing this gigantic list of potential Pokemon that are going to be coming through as Funkos, really drives home on the exact reason why I was nervous to even start collecting these things. I'm in too deep now. And if you can spare one like on this video, you can help aspiring YouTubers like myself to continue making content like this. Over in Japan, we have some new wireless chargers featuring some Pokemon duos. These are really cute duos of an evolution and another Pokemon that it's like kind of themed with, sort of, but really like the look of these. Like could be something cool you kind of put on your desk or like have around the office, you know, like charge your phone wirelessly. But maybe you're out at a business meeting, you're out on the golf course, you want to flex that you're into Pokemon. Golf Theory in Japan has you covered with these golf club covers. They come in a handful of different Pokemon and I just, like, Japan just knocks it out of the park with just like the most random Pokemon things that I would never would have thought to have and I just love it and I, oh, it's so good. 
and I don't even golf. But a little bit more into traditional items here. We've got some new backpacks. These are from the Shimamura Company. We've got Pikachu and Eevee, of course. Always got to have the OGs around. But there's also Gengar, Piplup, and there's even a Mimikyu backpack available. And I just love that because I love Mimikyu. I also love Remint figures, and I've got three sets for you. So first up, we've got this Pokemon World 2 series. This releases in Japan on November 14th. And looks like it's all themed after like a forest and a lake type of a thing. Some very collectible Pokemon in here. I know people love Celebi, they love Leafeon and Magikarp, and honestly, I got eyes on the Quagsire. Remen also bringing us the next generation in the Bonsai figures. These come out on November 21st, and I just love the theme of this series because just Bonsai trees are kind of cool. And the Pokemon selection also is great. Like check out like that Lugia pose, he's all like epic sitting on a Bonsai tree, like oof, so good. And one more for Remit. We've got the Pitori collection. I think that's how you say it. They're actually re-releasing this one. But it looks like all of them are in like these kind of like cute poses, either sleeping or climbing. I think these figures are kind of intended to hang off of corners or like shelves on books or whatever. So could be really nice little touches on like your desk or your home office, like whatever it is. Like that'd be pretty good. And if you're looking for any of these products that we talk about today, I've got links down in the description, at least for the ones that I can. Some of these are not available yet. Takara Tomi also coming in with some new figures. These are the Pokemon Peaceful Place figures. They definitely have kind of like a, a unique look to them, like definitely got some style. They come out on October 1st and you can create like these little different scenes. It's almost like a dollhouse that's like very modular, but really cool. And there's also like a lot more to this. So there's, there's actually a learning tablet so kids can like learn how to like write. There's also a sewing machine in this. I don't know how big the sewing machine is, but that's crazy. There's also like little felt packs so you can like create some stuff with the sewing machine. And there's a charm maker so you can make your own Pokemon charms. This is a pretty cool set. Like if I was into crafting, I'd like, I mean, I kind of want it even though I'm not into crafting. I'm into nano blocks though. And there's a new series of poison types that just came out. These are the mini sized nano blocks and they come in like the blind packages. So the packages are random, but there's a really fun group of Pokemon, I think. like most of these Pokemon don't get a lot of love, I feel like, so like I just love seeing all of these just kind of pop up, you know, I think they look great. And coming soon in Japan are the Hisuian starters in their fully evolved forms. You're gonna be coming out in these very large plushies, but typically plushies that kind of look like this, they usually do make it to the English side, so personally I'd be a little bit hesitant to try to import them just to save on a little bit of money. But if you really gotta have them, I'll have that link down below on Mecha Japan because they look fantastic and you're fantastic for staying through the video. Make sure you are subscribed for more updates. Let me know what you're excited for down in the comments. Tell me your thoughts on Scarlet and Violet. I'm stoked that raids are still around. I'm stoked that we're gonna be able to just ride around in our motorcycle gangs. I think it's gonna be really good. I appreciate you guys. Take care of each other out there and I'll see you very soon on the next one.